We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and women are created equal. Reformer Elizabeth Cady Stanton dedicated her life to the reform of American society and advocating for women's rights. Stanton deserves a spot in the A-Push Hall of Fame due to her impact on American social reform in the 19th century. Stanton was a significant figure in American history because she paved the way for future generations of women to fight for their rights and played a crucial role in shaping the women's rights movement while also fighting for social reform and abolition. Throughout her life, she faced obstacles of social norms and misogyny. Despite this, she became one of the first leaders of the women's suffrage movement while also fighting for abolition and social equality. Her entire life was dedicated to the cause of gender equality. She was one of the key architects of the Seneca Falls Convention of 1848. She co-authored the Declaration of Sentiments, among many other things. Stanton's approach to activism, as she also fought against racial discrimination and for the rights of marginalized communities, demonstrates her commitment to a more inclusive society. Elizabeth Kitty Stanton was born on November 12, 1815 in Johnstown, New York. Stanton got her education in 1832 at Emma Willard's Troy Female Seminary, which was one of the top educational institutions available to women at the time. She would frequently visit her cousin and reformer Garrett Smith, and she was drawn to the ideas of abolition, temperance, and gender equality during her visits. Stanton fell in love and married the abolitionist and social reformer Henry Stanton in 1840. And quickly after, they both participated in the world's anti-slavery convention in London. When they came back to America, they had seven children and settled down in Seneca Falls, New York. Stanton was one of the leaders of the Seneca Falls Convention of 1848, which was the first women's rights convention in the United States. During this conference, Stanton wrote the Declaration of Sentiments, which called for gender equality and women's suffrage. The Declaration of Sentiments was the conference's manifesto that called for women's rights. It called for women to throw out the government that called for them to be obedient to their husbands. The outcome of this significant event was the passing of all resolutions except for the ninth, which was the right to vote for women. The ninth resolution quickly became the cornerstone of the women's suffrage movement. During the Civil War, Stanton fought for abolition and was a powerful protester and reformer regarding slaves' rights. After the Civil War, she then later made her voice even louder when it came to women's rights. Stanton was an accomplished author on pieces of women's rights and gender equality, and in 1868 helped write a weekly paper named Revolution with Susan B. Anthony. They then formed the NWSA, or the National Women's Suffrage Association, in 1869. Stanton was an empowering figure regarding gender equality in the 19th century, and often traveled around America giving speeches and lectures. She helped write three volumes of the history of women's suffrage, which took place in 1861 to 1886. Besides the social equality on rights for women, Stanton also took a religious role in advocating for women's rights. She consistently protested that the Bible was commonly used at the time, degrading women and denying their rights. Her and Harriet Stanton Blotch published two volumes of the Women's Bible, which was controversial but essentially sought for women's rights. Stanton died on October 26, 1902 at 86. Unlike many reformers during the 19th century, Stanton advocated for not just her rights, but rather all women's, abolitionism, and social reform. Her voice was one of the biggest voices of women during the 19th century. Elizabeth Kitty Stanton was a pioneering figure in the fight for women's rights and a prominent leader in the American suffrage movement during the 19th century. She deserves a spot in the A Push Hall of Fame due to her strategic activism in the shaping of the women's rights movement that played a crucial role in impacting society and the defiance she had against the prevailing social norms of the early 19th century. Her active contribution to abolition during the Civil War led to the end of slavery. Stanton's tireless efforts, powerful speeches, 
and persuasive writings laid the groundwork for the eventual achievement of women's suffrage and paved the way for future generations of women to fight for gender equality. Stanton's approaches to various forms of oppression gave her a legacy that inspires countless individuals to challenge system injustices and work towards a more equitable future.